Good afternoon, Bishop McKnight, executive elders, and viewing audience. The committee consisting of Miss Martha Johnson, Myra Wright, and yours truly, Elder Cleve E. Roberts Jr., has been entrusted with the organizing and programming of Bishop Aaron L. Matthews Sr.'s Day. The following is a brief video and narrative of the life, family, and work of our first bishop, Elder Aaron L. Matthews Sr. Mr. Aaron Matthews Sr. was born in 1879 in Marion County, Santos, Florida, where he grew up. He left there at the age of 19 and moved to Bostick, Florida, where he worked on the Atlantic Coast Line Railway. He worked first as a section hand, then a cook, and finally began firing, that is, shoveling coal in the steam engine. In 1903, he moved to St. Augustine, Florida, where he began firing for the Florida East Coast Railway. In 1904, he met and married Miss Nancy Scipio. To this union, three sons were born. Deacon Aaron Matthews, Bishop W. W. Matthews, and Brother Clarence Matthews. Mother Leola Matthews was the wife of Deacon Aaron Matthews, Sister Katie was the wife of Bishop W. W. Matthews, and Miss Wussy was the wife of Clarence Matthews. Today there is a direct link that remains from Bishop Aaron Matthews, and that link is the daughter of Clarence Matthews, whose name is Freddie. And she has a son and three daughters and grands and great grands. Bishop W. W. Matthews and Katie Matthews raised their adopted daughter, Willie Kate. Willie Kate has a daughter, Jackie, and a husband and children. And also, there's a son whose name is Donald from Willie Kate. Bishop Aaron Matthews was converted in the AME church and he often said if someone had told him about the Holy Ghost, he would have gotten saved and sanctified the same night he was converted. In 1913, he heard a man preaching holiness in the street. He knew holiness was right and he accepted it. He and his brother-in-law Elder Nathaniel Scipio would team up and go about preaching the gospel and healing the sick. The Lord wonderfully blessed Bishop Aaron Matthews' ministry, thus becoming the first bishop of the Churches of God by Faith, Inc. Bishop Aaron Matthews lived in the big house and many sick people were taken there. Either those people were healed or they died. Bishop Aaron Matthews was saved in the year 1913. He was the first bishop and first council member of the Churches of God by Faith. He served as the first district superintendent of the Ocala District. His favorite song was Bread of heaven. He was known as the walking Bible. Bishop was a man of great faith and he passed away on April 11, 1959. In closing, this is a memorial tribute to our late great leader and first bishop Aaron L. Matthews Sr. Life's work well done 
a crown well won. No sorrow there in yonder climb, beyond the troubled ways of time. No dreary nights, nor weeping eyes, no aching hearts, nor broken ties. Or who would dwell forever here, away from those we hold so dear, away from him whose wondrous love prepares us for a home above? This epitomizes the love, the precious and great leadership that Bishop Aaron Matthews exemplified as he led this church. Uh, Miss Martha Johnson, Miss Myra Wright, and yours truly were indeed blessed to have been able or appointed to this task to do this great work. Thank you.